Sticking with us on Midwest Access, we have some shoes in the house, some nice shoes here today. And as we get into the cooler months, it's actually nice to get out and run. How are right. you doing, by the way? This is Matt Sangster. He is with Fit My Feet. He is the district manager. Thanks for Indeed. coming in. No problem. My so pleasure. So you used to work in Rochester. I did. Yep. But now you're the district manager, so you're based out of Sioux Falls. Yep. Yep. I used to manage the Rochester location okay. um, and then recently took a promotion to our corporate office in Sioux Falls. Very so, nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. So you are our shoe expert today. And I have many questions because when it comes to running, Runners sometimes get hurt, mm -hmm. and their shoes play a big part of it. Yes. So do you have any advice for us on what shoes are best for our joints as we age, or of all ages? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of uh, back-end knowledge to shoes that I guess a lot of people might not understand. Yes. And a lot of times you go to the store and you, you're like, oh, I like this color, and you pick it off the shelf, and that's the one you buy. Yeah. Um, not all shoes are created equally, though, so really it kind of comes down to what type of support that you like. You know, uh -huh. So there's shoes that have more medial support, like if you need more arch support, and there's some that are more neutral. So really depends down, you know, it comes down to you know, what kind of foot you have. But uh, overall, I mean, there's a handful of really, really nice brands that'll be most beneficial for you. How do I know if I need that arch support? Yeah, great question. So it's really coming to, to one of the professionals, you know, people who have studied the feet. Um, you know, at Fit My Feet, not only do we know your shoes or our shoes, but we know your feet as well. So it's really just getting to the the right person that has the the knowledge and experience to to do that so okay, okay. if you're gonna self-diagnose at home i mean you can step on a, a floor f you know uh, barefoot and see you know is your arch pretty flat is it a little bit higher so mm -hmm. you can kind of self-diagnose but it's always better to get a, a professional yeah opinion. especially yeah. if you're going to be doing some long distance running so I often see people buying Brooks. Yes. Is that your good running shoe, or do you have a few options that you recommend? Yeah, I mean, Brooks is really nice. They, they have a, a DNA gel in the bottom of them. Most of these companies offer uh, just like a typical EVA foam, but Brooks, Hoka's, Saucony has been a really big one in 2023. We've done really well with that um, okay. so far, but uh, really it's personal preference. So, Which ones are the most expensive? Um, here, here today, probably the Hoka Bondis. I believe okay. they're 170 or 180. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so when you hear that price, you might think, well, that's extremely expensive for a yes. shoe. But do the shoes last longer? Um, shoes go off of a mile rating. Okay. So, you know, every five, 600 miles, you're going to want to rotate your shoes. But um, there's definitely a, a couple cheaper end shoes if you're not willing to spend the big bucks um, that'll still get the job done for okay. sure. Yeah. And so we see this Hoka shoe, which I didn't even know Hoka was a brand until recently. Okay. Because everyone's Start, is starting to wear them. Yeah. What are our thoughts on Hoka shoes? I like them. I've got a pair personally. Um, they've got a little bit more curvature to the bottom of the sole, so it kind of really helps propel you forward as you're walking or running. Okay. Um, some shoes are made a little bit flatter on the bottom, so uh, it really comes down to what kind of stride you are. Like Some people like to run on their toes, and for that, you know, you might want a little bit more of a curved bottom shoe Okay. Um, compared to like this So it is guy. an okay running shoe? Yeah, it's a great running shoe, okay. most definitely. Yep. Okay. Anything more that you'd like our viewers to know? Um, I did want to know if flip-flops are horrible for my feet. Yeah. Because I sometimes get the bottom of my feet hurt really bad. 95% of flip-flops <laughs> are, are not the best for you. Okay. Um, there's a couple brands like Ufos, Olakai, Hoka. What do you have back here? This is an Olakai. This is a good, yep, good flip-flop? Yep. This is more just like a casual or something you could wear on the boat. Um, it's got an Aquaflex sole, so it does really well with water. Okay. Um, there's a couple other brands, like I was mentioning. Hoka makes a, a recovery slide or Ufo, Ufos. Um, you know, maybe not as... Uh, nice looking but definitely a good support but all of your like 499 flip-flops you can buy in a bin at walmart not maybe don't walk 10 miles in them no probably okay. not probably not okay not. um lastly are high heels bad for my feet yes mm -hmm. yeah um you know in the industry that we're in uh we see a lot of the older patients um that grew up wearing a ton of stilettos high heels and now um they've got a ton of foot foot problems, but uh, it seems like more in today's age that everyone's just going for comfort. So people are wearing tennis shoes, you know, 90% well, of the I have high heels on right now. I know, I know. Um, yeah, overall, not, not the I best. I should wear tennis shoes when I'm not on television? When you're not on set, yeah, okay. probably. Okay, if you say so. Thanks so much for joining us today. Anything more? Fit My Feet, where can they find you? Um, we're on North Broadway right next to the Purple Goat. Okay. So, yes. And we can come in for... Schedule an appointment, or you can come in at any time. We've got two uh, certified podorthists right on staff. We make custom okay. orthotics. You know, we do the whole nine yards sure. for your feet. So if you have foot problems, it's maybe an option for you to come get checked out. Of course. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the advice. I'll work on the high heels. We'll see how that goes. All right. We still have more to come on Midwest Access, including a look at weather. Nick will be joining us after the break. He'll tell